Hello students, welcome to Bachelor of Information Technology Database Systems 1, IT2305. So today we are going to start a new chapter. In previous chapter we learned about relational model. Today we are going to learn about relational algebra. Let's start the lesson. So students, uh, after completing this module, you should be able to understand about the relational algebra. So what is about it? And describe some methods, manipulation methods in relational algebra. So, just a brief idea about relational algebra, right? Uh, in here, we will talk about these parts. Data manipulation. So, what is data manipulation and everything, basics about relational algebra and what are the traditional set of operators, operations and special relational operations. The brief, brief ide idea we will be having after complete this module. Right, we'll go one by one. Okay. So, what is data manipulation? What do you think about this? Manipulation, controlling. Okay. So, once we insert data, once we add data to a particular database, so you know into relations. Okay. Relations, there are attributes. Okay. And also, we have tuples. And we have a set of relations and we combine uh, those reference. We have references for each and every relations with using the primary key and some uh, concept of keys. And we make, make the, uh, maintain the uniqueness, right? And, but after this, after designing, after design everything, okay, what we need to do with a particular database? So, once we design, we need to insert, we need to add data to the tables or the relations, right? We need to add data to a relations. And what else do we need to do? We need to update, maybe as an example, student, so you are student, right? you will be given your de details to the university. In the, so, they maintain the university database. In there, there is a particular relation called students. There, we have set of attributes. Student number, name, address, contact number, email address, etc. So, suppose you give your address to the university. So, you receive all the notifications and all the mails, letters from the university to that particular address. Suppose you changed your permanent residence place to another place. So, then definitely you will be getting a new address. So, you have to uh, uh, give a submit or you have to inform the university about your address change or maybe sometimes email address. So, for that case, university receive your information and then they have to update that particular relation in their database, student relation, you are, they will go to your student ID, they will uh, ask your student ID or the identity card number. Okay? And from your identity card number or the student ID, they will find your record student in the student relation and then they are going to update the new address to student relation, right? So, the updation need to be there in the database. So, that is again another manipulation. Suppose same thing you can do with the bank. So, you have to update new address. Uh, accounts you are maintaining, the banks, bank accounts, right? And suppose from the university or from the bank, right, you are going to deactivate your account. So, you visit the bank and tell them, I am going to deactivate the account. I do not need uh, an account from this bank so far, right? I do not need a 
need an account from this bank anymore. So, you need to inform them. So, then they will sometimes give you a form to fill out and then you can withdraw the amount available in that particular account and then they will receive your filled form about deactivating your account maybe sometime according to the business rules. And then what will they do? They will delete your record. They do not need to maintain your records further. You are not a customer anymore. Right. The next one, the very important part, always we are working with this actually. So, inserting actually once we have the database, right? once we have the data in the database, inserting is happening uh, very occasionally. With comparing with uh, retrieval, okay? updation, deletion also like that. All the customers are not going to uh, going to delete their accounts and all the customers are not going to change their addresses if you think about that bank okay but retrieve or select every day every hour every second every minute we need to work with this why people are doing transactions people are not transaction me not only means uh, related to the bank everywhere if you submit your information and if you are working with the particular organization if you are uh, doing any you know relationship if you are having any relationship daily with a particular organization that means you are doing transaction maybe in your university you download the tutorials right you log into your particular portal okay from the internet you purchase some books okay, and uh, use uh, pay for pay, pay for your uh, course fees and uh, exam fees and everything. So, we, we learnt about users and casual end users are there. Users are there, some more end users are there. So, most of the end users are working with this, right? Using that primary key, we can identify particular record, tuple in a relation and the relationship between that particular topic. So, retrieval is very important. So, data manipulation is like that. So, we manipulate data inserting, updating, deleting and retrieving. Hope you got a better idea about the manipulation and what is happening out there. So, now we are going to discuss about relational algebra. Actually, relational algebra is designed with the emergence from relational model. Okay. So, people need a method to manipulate data available in the relational model. So, then people found this method. right? So, we are going to just have an idea about relational algebra. But, so you do not need to continue with relational algebra anymore. So, we have new uh, languages. Okay. So, this is a language. So, we can call as a actually a query language. Okay. Relational algebra is a formal language associated with the relational model that actually from the emergence of the relational model if we say. But relational algebra is a procedural query language, procedural query language, it is a high level. Right. So, you know about these high level languages, programming languages in, since you are learning programming. Okay. So, when it comes to the procedural query language. So, students, why we call relational algebra as a procedural language? Simply we can say in procedural language, each expression establish a certain order of perf performing its operators. Certain order, there is a method, there is a way with, without not just saying how to do. So, as an example, your mother will ask you to bring something from the shop. Okay. Son, bring a piece of soap. 
then you can just go to a particular shop nearby in your area then you can buy soap from any brand and then you can give it to your mother but your mother can change the way he, she is asking okay. sometimes she might say son bring a piece of soap from this brand and from this shop maybe indra supermarket okay from indra supermarket so then you know where to go and which to buy so there is a certain order of performing its operators so when co when compiling that particular order you know how to do that but in the previous order previous method mother just say bring some piece of soap from a shop so then you have to decide which soap you need to buy and from which shop you need to buy and maybe sometimes the piece of soap you are bringing is the is not the one mother thought of bringing so they they can have the difference so in relational algebra say if we don't have the uh, order of performing its operators what would happen maybe the answer we are getting from that particular uh, maybe the order maybe the command not be will be the answer we expect okay so alg relational algebra has a order so why that is why we call it as a procedural language so anyway we are moving to further discuss about relational algebra it is operations work on one or more relations to define another relation without changing the original relations kind of a, an independence both operands and results are relations so output from one operation can become input to another operation okay so you can uh, think you can have a, have the better experience when we are discussing about the operations so anyway both operands and results are relations definitely the output to, from one operation can become input to another operation also allows expressions to be nested just as in arithmetic okay to be nested just as in arith arithmetically you know arithmetics right so this property is called closure so there is a new word closure right expressions to be nested just as arithmetic so we will see how to do these in the later part so again relational algebra have five basic operations selection projection cartesian product union and set difference so you might have heard about this cartesian product union everything uh, when you are learning about sets so we will be learning in the next part so anyway these perform most of most of the data retrieval operations needed so relational algebra actually Uh, work with retrieval operations you know to update insert and those also have join intersection and division operations which can be expressed in terms of five basic operations so it will be under the five basic operations right so have the idea about relational algebra so if you go to symbols of relational algebra have a look sometimes you might have you might familiar with this symbol maybe not so if, you, if not just try to remember the symbols okay so some symbols have names some symbols doesn't have some particular names but if we think about project symbol is pi right select sigma renaming so we have rho so you have learned uh, mathematics combined maths you a family with this union intersection uh, some assignment right left hand side arrow key and cartesian product join left outer join right outer join full outer join semi join so these are the words and symbols we are going to use within the relational algebra 
So, try to familiar with these symbols and names. So, we are going to use these symbols and names in next lessons. Right now, we will see think about this question. What is O R related to relate to data manipulation among following? Easy question. Calculate, average, insert, update, delete. So, calculate and average within the other main operation. So, answer is insert, update and delete. Okay. Another question. Which statement or statements is or are true regarding relational algebra? It is a method to store data in database. It is a data manipulation technique. It is a programming language. Relational algebra is a formal language associated with the relational model. What do you think? Is it a procedural language? 